What's up guys? Welcome back to Miller's Construction. Today on the channel, Wave 3 Flex Tools. I got an entire shipment of Flex Tools today in the mail and a couple weeks ago. And I'm going to just show everything that I have gotten, what I think about them. Look for them in future videos on my job sites. I think that's what separates me from other guys um, that do like tool reviews, things of that nature. I don't like setting up a set of saw horses in my garage, which is where I'm at right now, and blowing holes through uh, four by fours or cutting off two by fours to show the power. I like to use my tools on actual job sites. One thing I will tell you, we could use any brand of tools that we would like. Makita, Dewalt, Milwaukee, Bosch, whatever. We do use some other brands, but for the most part, we use Flex Tools and we have for the last two plus years on our job sites. We have not had a single battery failure, charger failure, or tool failure in those two plus years that we've been using Flex Tools. And we've got pretty much all of them. We've got a large collection of Flex Tools. We love them, that's why we use them, and they have performed extremely well for us. Like I said, we could use any brand of tools that we wanted. We prefer Flex Tools. So let's just get right into it. Wave 3. I don't know the pricing on everything. Actually, I do, but it's on my phone that I'm using to record right now, so I can't tell you the pricing on everything, but I'll try to refer to it off the top of my head. Um, but anyways, right off the bat, let's talk about this new Flex Compact Impact Driver. Um, they gave me some statistics on these two. I believe this is 1,700, 1,800 inch pounds of torque, something of that nature. So it's really, really powerful still even though it's super compact. Five inches, 5.04 inches, I believe, from the back of the tool to the front of the tool. Um, one thing, out of all the flex tools that we own, the only complaint that I have on every single tool is the flex impact driver. The trigger is not very good. I don't like the trigger. The speed is not variable enough. I have not personally used this today. I just got this in, this impact but I can already tell by the way it feels, it feels like they have addressed that issue. They sent me um, a survey or a poll and asked me some questions about the trigger and it sounds like they've listened. So that's really nice, nice thing about Flex, the innovation. They also listen to guys that use them in the field and I think they know that they had a problem with the trigger. Um, not necessarily a problem, I guess, it's just, I'm not going to use that flex impact to install door hardware or um, delicate fasteners. I will use it all day long and you will love it if you don't have it. If you're driving deck screws or large lags, it is crazy powerful and you don't need like a delicate, precise trigger for that. That's where this thing's gonna come in even more handy just because it's so lightweight and compact. Um, so yeah, I can already tell that this trigger is completely different, way more variable than the other impact driver. And I believe this one is 149 with the kit. And I think you can buy this right now. By the way, I will mention that as well. Um, some of these tools are available right now. And then a lot of the tools will be uh, available in July in the stores. So, and Flex did send me these. Um, we just, we use a lot of their stuff. So it was nice of them to send it to me. And I think they know that I'm going to actually use them, so that was nice too. But um, yeah, 149 for the kit that comes with, I believe, a 2.5 amp hour battery, a charger, a little bag, and the driver. So really good price point there. This, this is the inspection light, and I have used this like crazy since I have received it. This is one of my favorite things that they've sent me thus far. It does have like a little hook that you can hang like underneath the hood of your car if you're working on your car. I was changing the oil on my wife's vehicle the other day and I hung it in there and um, yeah, really, really like it. I've been using this thing like crazy. Um, so it has three different lumen settings. I believe that first one is 1500 lumens, then 1000 lumens, then 500 lumens. And the battery so far lasts a really long time and it does twist like 270 degrees or something like that. Um, and rotate all around. It's it's sweet light, inspection light. Don't know the price on that one. I want to say $79, but I'm not sure. Next up, we got our two compact drills. What are the difference in these? Um, one of them weighs just above five pounds, I believe, and the other one weighs just under five pounds. The difference is um, one of them, this one, 
has the hammer drill feature. Um, but they both do not have the turbo feature like the regular flex drills, but they are extremely compact, extremely small. Um, I have used this one, the one that does not have the hammer drill feature. I have used it and I really, really like it. Trigger is really nice. It's very compact, very lightweight. Um, I've been using it with the 2.5 amp hour battery and so far I love it. It's done everything that I've asked it to do. Um, another thing that I like about it, even though it's a compact, um, it comes with a steel chuck. So you'll find a lot of the other compact uh, drills from other companies, they'll switch over to like a plastic chuck. I don't like that. I like a nice steel chuck and that's what this one has. Th this has been great. This has been a phenomenal tool. I used it for some cabinet installation the other day, cabinet hardware specifically, and it performed phenomenal. So have not used this one yet, but the only difference is a little bit heavier um, because of that hammer feature. But both of these are pretty competitively priced. I wanna say this one is 149 with a kit. Um, one of these is 149 that comes with the battery charger and bag. And then one of them I think is 179, something like that. I, I can't remember. Um, both really, really nice drivers. Next up, let's get into something a little bit cool. Um, I have used this as well. This is their die grinder, straight die grinder. Um, it's cool that Flex is finally getting into some of these like more specialized tools. This is what I would call like a specialty tool, more for a mechanic, I guess. But I actually used it the other day. I needed it really bad and uh, come home and they had sent me this. And so I, I used it immediately and it worked really, really well. It's very smooth. Um, I will say this, the attachment that I have it in, in it right now is not made for a die grinder. It's made for a drill, so it's a little bit... Uh, I guess more on the dangerous side because you're not supposed to go over 4,000 RPMs and the lowest speed setting on this die grinder is 10,000 RPMs. So 10,000, 16,000, I want to say 23 or 24,000 and then it bumps up to 28,000 RPMs on this die grinder, um, which is really, really nice. And it's got the screen just like the, the regular grinder so you can clean it out. Um, I love flex grinders. Their grinders are phenomenal. I have the paddle switch and the toggle switch, both of them. Great. We have bog down on those things. We have used and abused those things and they haven't missed a lick. But anyways, really, really smooth tool. It's loud right now because of the attachment that I have in it, but I will go ahead and kick it on. I'm gonna turn it down to speed one. That's 10,000 RPMs. Um, I'll kick it up for just a second to the highest speed. Kind of sketchy, not supposed to do that. Wire wheel brush, like I said, it's not designed for that, but yeah, really, really smooth tool. And when I did use it the other day, it performed. It did exactly what I asked it to do and it was super smooth. And it does have, I believe, the anti-kickback. So at one point in time, I was polishing the insides of some ATV wheels with it. And at one time it started to lose control and the auto kicked off um, because it started going around and I started losing it a little bit and, and it did kick off on me. So that was a nice feature, kind of a safety feature there. So um, really, really nice die grinder from Flex. Um, next up, sander. If you follow me on Instagram, you know that I'm kind of a sander freak. I have a lot of different sanders. I have a lot of high-end sanders or high-end to me. I've got a uh, Festool RTS 400 sitting right next to me over here. Um, so I will be able to really give this a good test. I have not used this yet. This just came in today. Um, I just bought the Bosch Random Orbit sander. I've used it for a couple months and then I just got the orbital sander, so the square one. So I'm gonna be able to compare this to the cordless Bosch sanders. Um, I can already tell you the bag, it looks almost like they've copied off of Bosch because the bag looks almost identical on the inside, but I like the way the flex one slips on better. So yeah, time will tell how much I like the sander. Um, we'll see, I'll probably be using this thing quite a lot but I do love, love, love the switch so far. Not only the location of the switch, but the positive engagement of it. Um, just feels good, I don't know. Um, but we'll see, we'll see. Like I said, um, just watch my stories on Instagram. If you don't follow me on, follow me on Instagram, you wanna see kind of like an inside look, uh, I'm using these tools constantly and posting about them. So check that out. This is something that we don't use a lot, mainly because we're not electricians per, per se, but um, this is gonna come in super handy, I can tell you that. So they've got two different models here. They've got the compact model, or at least what they call the compact model, and then they've got the standard one. And uh, both of them do feature anti-kickback, 
And I can tell you, I believe this one's 279, and I think this one's like 429, something like that. Um, and these are slated to release, I believe, in July. So don't get mad at me if I threw those figures out there wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is. And that's bare tool, by the way. That's not battery charger, all that stuff. But I think the big one's 429. I believe this one's uh, 279. Anyways, what's cool is, um, so this one only has one gear. It does have an LED light and it does have a turbo mode. Let me go ahead and slip a battery in there. It does have a turbo mode. And then turbo. Really, really, really smooth. It's got the uh, key right here built into it, which I love that. And it does have a massive rafter hook. So that's sweet. Um, I think we will use this one a lot more often than the big one, but if we do need to get into some of those monstrous holes, this one has a high and a low gear speed selection. And it reminds me of the drywall mixer or the mud mixer. Um, really easy to engage from high to low. Uh, RPMs. And we love that mud mixer from Flex, by the way. That thing does not get enough credit. That thing is awesome. But this is the big boy right here. This is the one you're going to want to use if you're drilling four inch holes with a hole saw all day long. Really nice. Once again, anti kickback. Um, what more could you want, man? This thing is sweet. Really nice. Magnesium. I will say this, it's heavy as sin, but um, it is what it is, right? It's, it's a big tool. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to guess this thing at like 13 pounds, 12 pounds, something like that. They didn't give me a, a specific on that. This one's quite a bit lighter. So really, really nice tools though from Flex. So we've got two band saws. This is the big boy. I believe it's five inch cut capacity, five or five and a half, something like that. But this thing is a real beast. Um, Quick blade change, it's got an LED light, it's got a big rafter hook, which is super handy. Magnesium, once again, um, it's just really nice. Let's see what this thing says. High power, magnesium housing, tool free, quick adjustment shoe. So, once again, nice that Flex is coming out with some of this stuff. Now this is the one that I think we'll use the most. This is the compact. This is very, very similar in size to our Bosch compact which I like that size. This is a two and a half inch cut capacity and it does have the rafter hook. It does have the LED light on it. It does have the quick change feature. It's got the extra handle up top. But what I really like about it is it's a lot different than our Bosch in the fact that if you'll, if you'll look at this handle where you hold it, your line of sight to the blade is way better. So all the guts and the motor and everything's kind of out of the way. So when I'm holding it, I can see right down that blade. So the visibility is so much better than I think the Bosch. I can actually see what I'm doing. Um, really, really nice bandsaw. This thing is gonna be great. We, we use bandsaws all the time. If you never cut rebar with a bandsaw, it actually works pretty well. We've cut quite a bit of rebar with a bandsaw. Um, we cut all kinds of stuff with these things. So two very nice bandsaws from Flex. I can't remember the pricing on them though. Um, just can't remember, so I'm not gonna say, but they're very nice. They feel very high quality. We will see how well they perform. I'll try to film some of this uh, using these things. Okay, let's talk about my personal favorite tool of the Wave 3 launch. This is the router. Um, I will tell you right now, it's 199 bare tool, so I think that's pretty competitive. And I believe the motor, uh, Power uh, is comparable to a 1.5 horsepower brushless motor is what they're, is what they're saying. Uh, and I believe that is the most powerful out of all the cordless quarter inch shank routers, not half inch, quarter inch. Uh, I know Montabo makes one, it's half inch. We're not talking about that. We're gonna compare apples to apples. Um, I can tell you have used this and it is a beast. We did not have our white side fluted uh, top bearing bit or whatever bottom bearing bit uh, that's up cut. We didn't have that on us the other day, so we had to go into the lumber yard and buy just this uh, Freud or Fruit, however you say it, uh, 3 8 shank bit to cut with a bearing on the top. Um, we had to buy this to cut some LP Smart Side, some pre finished diamond coat, and it worked like a champ. But what's really unique about this router is it is a world's first. It has a world's first feature on it. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So we'll go ahead and take 
um, the base off. And generally on every router that I've ever owned, you have to use a wrench or two wrenches to get the bit out. You know, and this one has that capability. They send you two wrenches. So you can, you can put your wrench on the, uh, the shank and one wrench on the nut and you can get that bit out and release that collet, right? Or like my Bosch one horsepower um, corded router, you can press a button and then use your other wrench to undo the nut and get the bit out. But it's kind of a pain in the butt having to hold that button. What they have done is they've made it really simple. Why hasn't everyone done this? They have a locking mechanism that you just push it down and it's locked now. It seems so simple, but it's so useful. So now I can unlock it, press the button, it's unlocked, I'm spinning right here. But if I lock it, it's instantly locked. Now I can take my wrench, I don't have to worry about holding a button down, I can hold this router wherever I want and I can really bear down on that nut and I can get that bit out if I want to. And then I can tighten it back up, put a different bit in, tighten it back up, press the switch and it's back. Like, why hasn't anyone else thought of that? Flex, flex is always um, innovating and improving and making things better. This, this, little, this little dude is awesome. This is my favorite of the Wave 3 launches. And yes, I have used it, like I said, and I loved it. It worked really, really well. Lots of power. It blowed through that LP Smart Side like it was nothing. So very impressed with this one so far. And it does come with um, a dust port, and I did put it on. It's very quick to put on. Comes with a second base plate, a bigger one, more surface area. You could mount it to a table, whatever. Comes with a rip fence or a guide. Um, so it's nice that it comes with those accessories. But 199 bare tool, and I can't remember this, if this one is out yet or you have to wait to July but probably July, I think July on this one. Really nice tool though. Okay, we've got one more tool here to talk about and this one I'm super excited about as well. Uh, this is the Flex Mid Torque Impact Wrench, $269 and that's for the kit. 5.0 battery, you get the bag, you get a uh, fast charger, yep, fast charger, and then of course you get the wrench. And we have the High Torque Impact Wrench, we love it. We have brought it onto the job site a couple times to drive like big Titan HD bolts, you know, down for sill plates to hold walls down, big anchors, things like that. That's where this thing is going to be nice. We can now keep the high torque impact wrench in the shop to work on more heavy duty stuff. Whereas this one, this is going to be great for driving large lags or um, those Titan HD stuff like that. But you could also change a, a car tire with it or uh, take your wheel off, you know, work on your truck or your car with this thing. Uh, 750 foot-pounds of nut-busting torque, 600 foot-pounds of tightening torque. Um, and it does have the three speeds. It's got the auto feature where it'll stop, um, you know, when the nut gets loose. So that's kind of nice. But um, I'll go ahead and slap a battery on it real quick. It's lightweight. You know, it's, it's, it's a nice tool. I have not got to use it yet. But it, it just feels quality. And it does, it's not quite as much as the high torque. The high torque impact wrench, it's like the head is floating. So you don't get that feedback in your wrist and your arm. This one's floating a little bit. I can move it. You can tell the head is kind of detached from the handle a little bit. You can see I'm kind of moving that head. It kind of floats, not quite as much, but uh, man, that LED light is bright on that thing. 269. Uh, Flex mid torque impact wrench. Flex is really getting big on, you know, trying to support and build this entire system. And, you know, once again, we, we have not had a single tool fail in the two plus years we've been using Flex. Um, we love their tools. They're super powerful. We never have a problem with the batteries, the chargers. We've never had, you know, occasionally on um, some of our previous battery platforms, the battery would get too hot and you'd have to wait for it to cool down for the charger to start charging it. We've never had that issue with Flex. Um, they, they just work, they work really, really well. And the charging, you know, their, their base charger, their fast charger is 160 watts. Next time you pull out a Dewalt or a Milwaukee charger, the base charger that comes with the cheap kits, 
check out the wattage on those. You're gonna be waiting a long time for those batteries to charge. I know they sell, their, their fast charger is not, I don't know if it's as fast as this one even, it's, it's insane. Um, Flex has just got a sweet lineup. And I've also got the four port charger. And what I like about it is it doesn't charge sequentially, I believe is what it's called, where it charges one battery at a time. Flex doesn't do that. Flex, you pop on all four batteries that need charge, it's gonna charge them all at the same time. Uh, that's the way it should be. I don't know why any other company would make it any other way, but they do. Um, Flex is just great tools. We've got the stack pack here. Uh, we, we, use, we use this stuff all the time on job sites. Check me out on Instagram if you're not following me, Miller's Construction, M-I-I-L-L-E-R-S. Some people think it's spelled with one I. We spell our last name weird, it's two I's. Uh, check me out on Instagram, look at my stories. I post a lot of stuff in my stories uh, behind the scenes on this Flex stuff, using it. And uh, I will try to post more videos to my YouTube as well using this stuff. If you'll watch some of my other videos, you'll see flex tools. I've got one coming out. Um, by the time you watch this video, it's probably already out. It's an LP smart side board and batten system. Look in that video. I'm using a flex inline saw um, to cut the LP smart side. So we, we use flex tools constantly. That's all we keep in our trailer pretty much. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Like, subscribe, comment down below. If you want to know more about a specific tool, if you want me to show a specific tool being used, comment down below, I don't mind. Um, I'll try to show you whatever you would like to see. Um, appreciate the support. See you next time.